A police officer was sitting in the car taking a nap, but in a trance, he seemed to hear a knock on the door. At first he thought he was hallucinating, but this time the sound appeared again, and he had to get out of the car to find the reason, but what he found after getting out of the car surprised him. It turned out that a swan came in front of the police car. We humans not only have friendship but also affection and love for each other, but what we don't understand is that in the animal world, they are also like this, and their feelings even surpass ours. A group of swans are playing happily on the grass in the park, but can you imagine that just a few minutes ago, they were panicking because of one thing, a police officer was leisurely sitting in a police car, and he was just about to take a break because it happened to be noon, and it was time to take a nap. But in a trance, he vaguely heard a knock on the door, maybe someone came to him, for some unexpected incident, so the police opened the car door, but strangely, he didn't see anyone, the police officer thought it was a hoax, probably played by naughty kids nearby, so he ignored it and went back to his seat to rest, who would have expected that the knock on the door rang in his ears again after a while, he was a little impatient, but he opened the door anyway. The result was exactly the same as before, and there was no one outside. The officer was really angry this time, he was going to get out of the car to find out what happened, and if he caught the prankster, he would definitely punish him severely. When the police came out of the car, he didn't see anyone. He only found a swan. I guess this swan was the culprit. The swan hit the front of his car with its beak, maybe because of this little guy hungry. Seeing this cute little guy, the police officer felt that all the unhappiness just now disappeared. Or perhaps out of pity, the police officer took out his leftover bread from the police car, tore it into small pieces, and fed a few slices to the swan. But he didn't expect that the swan was not interested in the food at all, and continued to slam the car door with its beak, and even pecked the police officer's pants. Confused, the officer wondered what the swan was trying to do. Based on his many years of police experience, this swan should have encountered a problem. Perhaps this swan has encountered a crisis. Suddenly, the little guy walked forward, and it looked back to see if the officer followed it. Seeing that the officer did not follow, the swan came back to the officer, as if calling him, please follow me. The police officer seemed to understand something, and he walked forward with the swan. They walked until they came to a lawn about 100 meters away, where there were many goose babies. If there is no accident, these goose babies should be the children of the mother goose. The police officer stood in the front, and carefully observed the baby goose in front of him. Suddenly, he found a gosling among the geese. It seemed to be standing still, and its feet seemed to be tripped by something. The officer walked in the direction of the signet, only to find the baby swan's leg tangled in the balloon string. When the mother saw the policeman standing next to the baby goose, it also hurried up and approached the baby goose legs with its beak, as if saying to the policeman, my child's legs are entangled, but I can't get it out. Can you help me? Then it blinked, as if asking the officer for permission. When the police officer saw this, he immediately realized that he came to this place to save its children. As a policeman, humans and animals should provide help. He lifted the baby goose legs with his own hands, carefully untied the rope wrapped around the baby goose legs, and finally the baby goose was free, seeing that the goose legs were finally saved. The mother goose finally breathed a sigh of relief. After doing these things, the police officer waved to the mother goose, ready to say goodbye. But mother goose stood where she was, trying to prevent the police from leaving, and kept flapping her wings, as if to express her gratitude to the police officer. Without his help, maybe her baby would still be entangled in the balloon string. The police officer understood that it was Mother Goose thanking him, so he knelt down and touched Mother Goose's head, 
and this beautiful scene was frozen at this moment. Then they left in opposite directions, already existing in each other's hearts, and planted the seeds of gratitude in their hearts. There are still many places full of love in the world. On the other side, there is a crocodile that also touches many people. Can you believe it? As a cold-blooded animal, crocodiles are actually very polite. Not far away, a crocodile was knocking on the door of a house. It even got up and rang the doorbell. It's hard to imagine hearing someone knock on your door one day and opening it to find an alligator on the other side. As ridiculous as that sounds, it does happen in an apartment in the US inside. A man told reporters that when he was walking nearby, he found a crocodile really ringing the doorbell right at the door of a house and he was so scared that his legs went limp. It turns out that crocodiles should live deep in the forest. Even in a relatively remote suburb, there are many wild animals around the house, but the probability of seeing crocodiles is still very small. So the man was taken aback at that time, but fortunately the family was not at home. He saw the crocodile wandering around the door for a long time, but he didn't wait for the owner to open the door. The crocodile was waiting in vain, and finally had to quietly left. So why did the crocodile wait so long at their door, and what is the secret behind it? It turned out that the hostess of this household had rescued the crocodile by the lake once before, and the incident started in the winter of that year. Winter is the season when all animals lack food, because few animals go out, most of them are dormant, but even so, for the crocodiles, there is still a need to forage. In the cold winter, this crocodile went out to look for food. Unfortunately, it got stuck on the way to look for food. The surface of the lake was frozen in winter and was very smooth. When the crocodile was walking on the surface of the lake, it accidentally entered the lake. The crocodile was so desperate that now he couldn't move even if he wanted to. Just when it was at a loss and didn't know what to do, a woman appeared in its sight. When seeing a crocodile, the woman's instinctive reaction was to run away, but she noticed that the crocodile's feet were injured. She knew the crocodile must need help, so the woman immediately called the emergency number and called for professional help. Fortunately, the rescue was in time, and the crocodile was not seriously injured. She thought the matter was over, but she didn't expect that the seeds of gratitude were sown in the crocodile's heart. After this incident, the woman didn't always take it to heart, because for her, it was just a matter of little effort. But she didn't expect that this matter stayed in the crocodile's heart. On this day, the crocodile tried to find the hostess to express its gratitude, but unfortunately, the woman happened to be away from home for work that day, so they just missed it. But I believe they will always remember each other. After all, there will always be a day when they meet again. The relationship between humans and animals is still very deep. Maybe it is a very small thing, but it is deeply rooted in each other's hearts. We also encounter many small animals in our lives. If they happen to meet them when they need help, please be sure to lend a helping hand.